another food video. Um, my name's Faye and I hope you're all doing really, really well. Um, today I really fancied some rice, so we are making mutta palau, which is a rice dish made with peas, garden peas. Um, it is slightly spicy, um, but it's often served with yoghurt. I like mine with a lot of yoghurt. Um, and um, so it is a little bit spicy, but it's kind of mellowed out with the yoghurt, which is nice. So let me tell you what we're going to be needing today. So let's begin with the rice. Today I'll be using one cup of rice. Um, I've been soaking this for probably about half an hour. We'll be needing about 200 grams of uh, garden peas. Um, spices we'll be using is one teaspoon of red chilli powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one and a half teaspoons of uh, coriander powder, quarter teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of salt, and one, uh, two teaspoons of cumin seeds. We're also going to be using three green chilies, eight to ten black peppercorns, two cloves, one star anise, one black cardamom, a, a cinnamon stick, two bay leaves. I'll also be um, recommend that you add um, three to four green cardamom pods, but I don't have any of those available at the moment. Enough um, ginger and garlic to make about one tablespoon of paste. You'll be needing a little garnish of coriander, two tomatoes and one brown onion. I'm just finally chopping the onions to begin uh, our mutter uh, pilau rice. They are on a low heat um, now that they've maintained the heat of the oil. They should cook nicely now. Put them stir. And we're waiting for these to go a really nice golden brown colour. So I am just preparing um, the tomatoes which I've now cut. Um, into these um, sort of size pieces. You'll be needing them a lot later. My coriander and I'm just cutting my chilies um, into halves. The onions have gained a really nice colour which is great so it's time to add the ginger and garlic paste. I'm just going to fry this together now. I love the smell that these two make. So nice. So here we go. And you just need to fry this for maybe 30 seconds. Just be careful that the ginger and garlic doesn't stick to the bottom of the pan. So now I'm happy that that is fried well, it's time to add the spices. So, red chilli powder is going in, the turmeric, coriander powder, the garam masala, let me just mix that. So I've had the kettle on um, because I'm now going to add a splash of water so that the um, so it doesn't stick too much to the bottom. Um, but it's important to fry those spices um, at this point. So just have your kettle ready, your hot water. So at this point, I'm also going to add the whole spices. pepper, the bay leaves, the cinnamon, the uh, cloves, the cardamom if you've got them and then the splash of water after a little fry. Nice 
nice and dramatic like this. So at this point we've got a really nice masala coming along. The um, onions are beginning to dissolve, all those spices are frying nicely. So I'm going to add the tomatoes and garden peas and give those a fry as well. So in the peas go. At this point you can um, turn the heat up a little bit um, just to keep it um, at a nice heat in the tomatoes go. At this stage is really nice because it helps um, the tomatoes and um, peas absorb some nice flavour. We just turn that up to a medium high heat. I'm also going to add my green chilies and fry those as well actually. So in those go. I'm just going to fry this for a few minutes just so that they absorb a really nice um, flavour and the tomatoes begin to soften slightly. So everything's fried nicely for a couple of minutes. My tomatoes are still keeping their shape but they've just softened a little bit so I'm now going to add the water so I've used a cup um, of rice this is the same cup I've used to measure my rice exactly to the top so I'm going to add one and just under a quarter so one full is going in and just literally just under a quarter, about a quarter of a cup goes in. So now that the water's in, that's one and a quarter cup. As I've been soaking my long grain basmati rice for about half an hour, um, if you've um, been not been able to soak it for as long as that, you might need to use a little bit more, maybe one and a quarter to one and a half cups of water. Now it's time to add the cumin seeds and also the salt and give that a little mix. I'm just going to add the rice. Um, I'm just going to drain the water now that it's been soaking in. The water's bubbling nicely. Um, it's important that the um, water is at a good um, heat temperature before you add the rice. It should be boiling similar to that. And then you can add the rice. The heat now is at a low to medium heat. And so once I um, add the rice, I'm going to cover it with a lid. Um, it's going to take probably about 10 minutes. But I will keep checking and I'll let you know how long my rice takes. My rice is all covered, so I'm now going to keep the lid on for roughly about the 10 to 12 minute mark. I'm just uh, tending to my lavender plant. It's grown so long. I literally grew this from the seeds about, um, I want to say like spring. It's only been about maybe nine months, I think. And it's grown so much. I'm really hoping that it's going to flower. But the smell you get just, oh, I love it. Lavender is one of my favorites. Just giving it a little water. I have an obsession with plants and gardening. I find it so peaceful. So uh, this is like a little baby to me. Going to sit it back up there now. So my rice has been cooking for exactly seven minutes so far, um, and I'm just going to give it a little shake. And um, what this will do is um, just make sure that it's not sticking too much to the bottom. 
careful of your pants off. And it's just releasing a little bit more seam to the top as well. Um, so I can feel that there's a lot of movement in there, so there's obviously still some water left. So let's continue cooking. So this has been cooking for exactly 12 minutes now um, on a low heat. So I'm just going to check again. I can see that it's beginning to um, become a lot... Um, there's less water in it now, so it's becoming a lot more stiff. There's not much movement as you shake the dish. So it's going from a low heat to the minimum heat and it's now going to sit on what is called dumb and um, which is basically like a similar to a steaming process keep the lid on on a minimum heat for about another five minutes um, and that should nicely steam the rice make it nice and fluffy so my rice has been cooking on dumb for about five definitely five minutes I've got my little clock there um, but I just thought I'd tell you that um, actually I really enjoy eating this dish with a fried egg now it's not normally served with a fried egg yogurt as I said at the beginning goes really nicely but the egg just gives it like a creaminess um, a bit of protein um, this is how I tend to eat um, my mutter palau um, and Omer likes it as well so I'm today going to just do a fried egg I'll show you um, at the end um, it's up to you whether you want to try that or not but I think it goes really nice with the spice a nice bit of fried egg it just gives the the dish a little bit more of a food value I suppose my rice is cooked um, so I'm just going to prepare the fried eggs just literally having a tiny little bit of um, olive oil. You can use whatever oil you have, really. Um, That's how I cook mine. And I'm just going to fry them. I personally like a very fried egg. I know that's not how a lot of people have their eggs. They like a nice runny middle. Um, but for me, I, um, I have to have my eggs very well done. Um, so that's the way I cook them. So please don't judge for my overcooked <laughs> Just cover the pan in that oil and then crack the eggs. These have been in the fridge, so I'm wondering whether they're going to... Oh, didn't crack that one. Hooray. Next one. <laughs> Such a pro. Um, and I'm just <laughs> going to add a little bit of salt and pepper. Just put egg all over the floor. I will also just put a lid on the top so that the um, top of the egg cooks as well. Leave that for a little bit. So I've had my eggs covered probably about three minutes on a quite a low heat. So they're starting to cook now. I think this would be quite perfect for um, someone who likes a nice runny egg, you can see it, a bit jelly in the middle. Um, I'm just going to cook mine slightly more. So um, I've had the, um, the lid on, the rice, the entire time and I've just moved it onto a cold ring. So I'm now just going to garnish with coriander, it looks nice. serve some up. Oh, 
that looks good. You can see as I spoon this off, the rice kind of falls into its individual grains, which I think is a perfectly cooked rice. Because um, if you've got too much of a sticky lumps on the rice, I think that's not as nice to eat. So they should just kind of fall into individual grains. I think that looks very tasty. It sure smells very tasty. And then the egg. So let me just flip this egg for a minute. Do you like your eggs flipped? Ooh. There we go. Now I need a taster. So I have my little helper. He is going to be a taster today. Um, so I've served this with um, some achari pickle, achar, some mango chutney, always nice with some sweetness, the yogurt which I mentioned at the beginning, um, a little bit of fresh uh, cucumber, the egg and obviously the rice. Okay? Okay. Let me show everyone how nicely it's presented. <laughs> <clears throat> We've got some nice yogurt here, mango chutney pickles. Let's give it a try. The first time I tried um, fried egg with spicy rice was at a Thai restaurant, and I think both both of us really liked it. Yeah. And that gave us an idea that uh, if we prepare spicy matcha palau and try fried egg with it, it might go nice. We tried it and I think it just complements uh, this matcha palau so nicely that once you try it, you're going to have it every time and it adds really nice food value as well. So, try the rice. rice is very nice. I'm just going to try rice first. It looks fluffy, it looks good. Yeah. With some green chilies. Definitely, yeah. always. Mm. Yeah? Probably the best we've ever made. Oh, mm. thank you so much. It's very okay, nice. Yeah. Now you've said that. Oh, yeah. Mm. So, the way to have it with egg is mm. we just create a nice spoon with egg and rice. He's not going to talk now, we're just going to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try some with yogurt as well. And mango chutney. I'll leave him to it. He's busy now, eating away. Personally, I like this rice better than biryani. So, um, I think it's the best you can um, do with lots of food value, lots of it's vegetables, there's an egg, yogurt, there's so much in it. It's the kind of dish that you, um, I suppose if you've got um, quite a lot of spices at home, it's something you can rustle up quite quickly, it doesn't take very long. Um, we've actually had this with chickpeas before, it's that kind of thing where if you've got something to use up again, you can just add it. Um, but it's good, I mean, um, it's very tasty, filling, spicy. <laughs> yeah. Do you want to eat? I do. <laughs> mm. It's good. Okay, we really hope that you've enjoyed this video um, and that you um, found it useful and that you like our recipe. Um, do try it with an egg. I think you'll really enjoy it. Um, please um, subscribe to our channel and like this video um, and I hope to see you again next time. Bye for now. <laughs>